Welcome to this episode of Let's Chat Metapower, a very special one, in fact, because we're going to talk about Metapower for pets. My name is Anna Foley and I'd like to introduce you to Lisa Reese. Lisa is a certified animal aromatherapy specialist. Lisa has diplomas in canine holistic health and canine behaviour training, has also studied canine myofunctional therapy in animal studies, worked with dogs in a kennel environment and trained them also to show dogs, been a registered breeder. I currently have five dogs. Yep, five cat, dogs. Five yep. dogs, a cat and 15 goats. So yes. we're going to hear about all of this. Lisa, what, what inspired you to study essential oils for animals? Do you want to take us back to that? Yeah, well, back about nine years ago, I actually lost a dog to a toxic product that I used on her. She had eight months of pain and agony, and then she ended up passing away. She was only three years old, and she was a healthy dog. I'd bred her myself. I had her parents, her grandparents. It was absolutely heartbreaking. So I decided that I was not going to use any of those products on my dogs anymore. And so I started researching and investigating and trial and erroring and all things like that. And I started out with a flea and tick blend for them. And then I saw Dr. Janet Rourke's aromatherapy course for animals. So I've actually done level one and level two of that, which is amazing. And I'm still on her panel of aromatherapy consultants. So we meet every week and have chats and stuff, which is really good. I just want to help other people. I don't want other people's dogs to suffer like my dog did. I don't want dog owners to suffer like I did because it was the most horrendous eight months of my life. And that's why I do what I do because I'm here to help. I don't want anyone else's dogs doing that. And as natural as we can go is better. And when I found out how much it can do for our dogs, the oils and the other supplements, then why not shout it from the rooftops? So that's what I do. Thank you for yep. sharing that. And our condolences, it's, you know, it's hard to hard thing to go through. Um, it's been a while, but it still hurts. So, yep. yeah. And I think that's right. They become family members. You know, you become so connected and close. Yeah. 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 That's exactly right. Yeah. So essential was to start with and then Metapower coming out last year at Australia, a bit earlier in, in the US. What yep. did you to think, oh, this could be potential to use with animals? Uh, it was actually the collagen that I was interested in first because um, I've got large breed dogs. So I've got a Great Dane and I've got Rhodesian Ridgebacks. So they a lot of the time can get hip dysplasia or elbow dysplasia. They have a lot of arthritis in there as they get old. So anything that you can do to help them, I've always been interested in. They've always had the glucosamine and chondroitin, but I did have a Ridgeback a few years ago that it didn't matter what I gave her. I tried all the stuff and her hips still gave out on her. And that was before this Metapower collagen came out. So I really wish this had been around then because I think it would have helped her a whole lot. But I'm in a big group of aromatherapy specialists with Janet Rourke. We all work together and they've given me all their testimonials about how they've been using it. And they've been using it a bit longer because they've had it for longer, but They've been using it for their pets, for their large animals, horses, all the way down to dogs and cats. It's absolutely amazing. And for their clients as well. It was mainly the collagen that got me, but listening to Janet Rock, she taught us all about what the other things can do. And it, it's just amazing, quite frankly. Do you want to take us through each of the products? And we'll start yep. with the managed collagen. Yeah. Okay. We'll start with the collagen because it is the best, the best stuff ever. So dogs like us need collagen. 70 to 90% of a dog's muscles, tendons, and ligaments are made up of collagen. So it's really good, obviously, to help support that. So dogs can tear their cruciate ligaments, or like I said, the hip dysplasia, the elbow dysplasia, patella, lux patella luxation, subluxation, where their knee bones slip and stuff. They're all genetic things usually, or they can be predisposed to large breed dogs. But giving a collagen can actually help support the ligaments, support the joints and all the cartilage and stuff in there to help keep those joints really tight. And so it makes it lesser, lesser chance of them actually getting that. It's also great for your sporting dogs. So if you've got athletic dogs that do agility or even if they like to just chase the ball on nonstop. I used to have a little cattle dog cross and he was crazy ball freak and he just constantly ran back and forth and it does put a lot of pressure on their hips and on their shoulders. So any athletic dogs, you can give this to, and that helps to support the joint health and 
it helps prevent injuries. It can help prevent the injuries that they might have when they're doing all their agility and stuff like that. There have actually been studies done on dogs where they gave, some were given collagen and some were given the glucosamine and chondroitin together, which is one of the popular things that people give dogs. And they did a study, that's what they did for these dogs with arthritis and they're in horrible pain. And over time, they kept going back, you know, getting checked and getting checked. And there was a marked improvement on the ones that had the collagen way better than the ones that had the glucosamine and the chondroitin. So collagen is going to help them more than what those supplements would. And this one has the nine types of, of collagen in it. Now, marine collagen is one of the best ones for our dogs. It's more bioavailable than some of the other ones. So this is actually really, really good for them. But just keep in mind, because it is a marine uh, marine collagen, if your dog is allergic to fish, they can't have it. So there's probably not a great deal of dogs out there allergic to fish, but it is worth noting that if your dog is allergic to fish, then they can't have this. But if they're not, then this is going to be amazing for your larger breed dogs, for joints, hips, anything like that. If they tear a cruciate ligament, then you can give them this to help repair goes really, really well with Terrazyme. Terrazyme is your digestive enzyme, not just good for the gut, it also supports ligaments. So this with the Terrazyme would be amazing if you have a cruciate ligament tear or anything like that. Now that's just the joint health. That's going to be amazing for that. It is also absolutely amazing for their skin health and their coat. It helps to restore moisture in the skin and therefore, it gives you a healthy, shiny coat. So a nice, shiny, glossy coat is what it ends up with. I have a friend in the US that shows dogs, and she had a young pup that just before it showed, blew its all coat and nearly went bald. And so she was freaking out, thinking, how am I going to show this dog that's gone nearly bald? It's supposed to be a nice, fluffy golden retriever or Labrador, I think, one of those two. So she started giving it just an eight of this, an eighth of a packet of this in its food. Like you mix it in a bit of water first and then tip it in the food and its coat grew back in fast and so thick and luxurious that she's like, oh, she now gives it to all of her show dogs to keep their, their coat so thick and luxurious. So it's amazing for the skin and coat. It's also amazing for digestive health, believe it or not. So collagen aids in the digestion by breaking down proteins and soothing the lining of the gut. So it supports the health of the gut by infusing the whole system with restorative amino acids. So a lot of the dogs, when they've got allergies, when they've got skin issues and they're all itchy, 99% of that is coming from poor gut health. So if you've got a dog with allergies that's all itchy and they've got horrible skin, get this into them because it's not just helping the collagen with the collagen in the skin, but it's helping the gut. And that's what they ultimately need to help the skin. So any itchy allergy dogs, this is going to be your go to help that. Anyone that if they've got any digestive issues, like if they're a bit running or they're a bit constipated or something like that, this can help just fix up, help that gut lining and help their digestive issues. The other thing that this can do, which is pretty cool, it can help inspire a healthy appetite. So if your dog, if they're just not eating properly, they might be losing a bit of weight and you're a bit concerned and you want them to start getting their appetite back. Sometimes female dogs, after they've had a litter, they don't want to eat so much. They're just not interested in food. So you could put it in their food just to help stimulate the appetite that way. So yes, this is going to be amazing, especially for, like I said, your medium to large breeds, especially but then for any other issues in your smaller breed, it is dose dependent is on its size, size of your dog. So these are made for around, I think they said around a 65, ki 60, 65 kilo human. So obviously if you want to give this to your horse, so this is amazing for horses as well as your dogs. So all species, this is safe for. So if you've got a horse that has injuries or if they're a performance horse and you want to give them a bit of extra help and lessen the chance of injuries, they can actually get a whole sachet of this because they're a big animal. If you've got a dog like my Ridgeback, she's 30 kilos. So she only gets a third of this. So I've actually got two Ridgebacks and a Great Dane and they get one packet between the three of them per day. So I just mix the whole packet into water and then I tip a third into, once it's all whizzed up, I put a third in each of their food 
and mix it in with their wet food. They have raw food. If you have a smaller dog, you would just do an eighth, do a quarter, like whatever you think is right in relation to the size of your dog. Now, you're not going to overdose. Like you don't want to give them too much because it may give them the runs or something like that. So that's what your biggest issue is going to be if you overdose them. So if the dose that you give them is too high, they may end up not real good out the other end. And so then you just know to cut it back, cut it back next time. So you're not going to harm them apart from just a bit of a tummy upset. So yes, this is highly recommended for your horses, donkeys, goats, cats, any animal that you think may need it for any of those issues, you can use this on. And it is absolutely amazing. So this is my favorite. <laughs> Oh, this is my favourite out of the three, so, yeah. Yes, yeah. so an overview of what you've just shared with us there is that it's great for helping your pets to age in a healthy way, um, yeah. improve their skin elasticity and the, the coat. Um, yeah. and, and their then, nails as well. I forgot nails. that. It gives them nice, strong nails. Some dogs can have brittle nails that break easily or, you know, if, especially, again, agility dogs or anything like that that are running around, you want them to have nice, strong nails. So. It helps with that too. Isn't that amazing? Yep. All from the one collagen. That yep. it can this little with. packet. It's little amazing. Packet. Yep. Yeah. And then the way to figure out the dosage is depending on their weight. So smaller dog, you'd use an eighth, you were saying, an eighth of that? Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I've got five kilo dogs and I would give them an eighth of this. But then my great Dane could easily have half to a whole packet. She needs 12. Now, as I don't know if you guys know, but 12 is a really amazing age for a Great Dane. And she doesn't exactly run around the yard, but she still walks around with ease. And I would say it's something to do with her having this recently because she did start slowing down and she sort of stayed stagnant at where she at where she was then. So I think it's made her not keep on the downhill slide so fast. Can I ask with the collagen, did you mention that you mix it with water and then into their food? Yeah, because you need to mix it in water to activate it. So, I mean, if you're feeding them raw food, it probably would be okay to just mix the powder in there. But my, I would rather just mix it in a little bit of water and then you can just pour it in the food. You can still mix it through the food. It doesn't have to be sitting in a puddle or anything. But I think just to activate the collagen, that would be the best thing to do. Yep. And have your dogs noticed the smell of it or anything, Lisa? Do you think? No. No, yeah. my, uh, no they haven't. But to be honest, my, my big dogs eat anything. It's only my little dogs that are fussy. So like my big girl, Sunny, I can put frankincense or on guard in her food, just straight oil in her wet food, and she's happy to eat it. So, you know, it's it's different dogs. But if they do... You could sort of put it just into a little meatball and just try and get them to just eat the meatball. Yeah, you just sort of work it out how you want to get get it down. Then. <laughs> Thank you. Can yeah. you tell us why you use frankincense and on guard? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. All my big dogs get frankincense, turmeric and copaiba in their food every day. So they get a drop of that just for internal health, joint health, brain health all the inflammation that they may have. And the on guard was my big, one of my girls, Sunny, the Ridgeback, used to get yeasty, yucky ears and they were like a bit gross. And while I was using oils on her ears, I was also giving it on guard internally to support her immune system and her internal health to help get rid of the itchy ears, which by the way, it worked. It worked. <laughs> I mean, it's a hot oil, so you do have to mix it into wet, like she has raw, raw meat. So I just put a drop in and mix it all through. And like I said, she said, eat it. She'll eat anything. So, yeah. But, oh, yeah, oils nice. for dogs are amazing. So, yeah, amazing. Let's move on to the <laughs> yeah. oils. Okay. Yeah. Now, these ones can be used on all species. So, yes, they can be given to a horse, donkey, goat, cat, dog, anything, but only for specific conditions. So you're not just going to give this every day for the sake of giving it every day just for health. This one is for your overweight pets or diabetic pets. This is the one for them. You can give it with food. Now, it is a capsule that has powder in it. You do actually open it up to do the dose. So for the smaller animals, you would open up and just give a quarter of a capsule, a slightly larger one, half a capsule. For my dogs, the bigger ones, 40 kilos, they can have a whole capsule. Horses, a whole capsule. It goes up on weight again. Now, these reduce mealtime blood glucose spike. So that is why it's going to be good for your diabetic pets. We'll talk about them first, okay? So if your pet is on insulin, 
you need to not give the same amount of insulin. That's how well these work. So these are really good. If you want to reduce your pet's insulin intake and don't want to be giving them as much, then you could use these to help do that. But you need to monitor the glucose level for a while until you get it right, because these will reduce the amount of insulin that they need. So for diabetic dogs, that's what this is for. It can help reduce the amount of insulin that they need, but please monitor the glucose levels until you can get it right, because we don't want them to have a crash or you know go either way. So that's what it's used for, for diabetic pets. Now, amazingly for our overweight pets, this can help them to lose weight. So if you've got a dog that has a metabolic problem, you know, they have trouble and they just doesn't matter what you feed them, you reduce their food and you reduce their food and they're still fat and you just can't work out why they're so fat. They probably got a me 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 metabolic issue or thyroid, thyroid issue or something like that. So like dogs with the hypothyroidism, so that's like the underactive thyroid. So they have, they gain weight and they can't get rid of it. Or dogs that like just, just a fat, some dogs just get fat. You exercise them, you barely feed them anything and they still seem to get fat. These are the ones for them. So you just give it to them. Like I said, you can give it with the food. So you can just, if it's a big dog, horse, donkey, so goat, you just give them the whole capsule. Otherwise, a smaller one, empty it out and sprinkle the powder. If you're giving them the whole capsule, you can still empty it out and sprinkle the powder if you like, rather than a big capsule sitting on the top. So only give it to dogs as necessary. Now, if your dog is getting a fully raw food diet, just raw meat like a lot of dogs do, not all, then they're not going to need this. Because what it does is it decreases the absorption of carbs and sugars. Now, if they're having a raw food diet, there's not a great deal of carbs and sugars in there and the carbs and sugars in there, they actually need. But if they're having kibble or if they're having a lot of veggies and stuff in there even, like if it's not just a meat diet and it's like you're adding veggies and fruits and stuff like that in or you're feeding kibble and I'm not kibble shaming anyone, that is your choice, but they're the ones more likely to need this to help decrease, decrease the absorption of all those carbs and sugars that kibbles are full of. Unfortunately, they are full of it. So they're the dogs that are most likely to need this. Now, I know a lady that has been using it for a horse that was incredibly overweight because of hypothyroidism, and it's helped him to lose a lot of weight, and he is now back to good condition. She does keep him on this one a day because it does help to keep him at that, that level. So if they've got an issue, then yes, it might be an ongoing thing, but otherwise you're not just going to keep giving it, keep giving it for the sake of keep giving it. It's just so good to get this clear information. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, um, no worries. In fact, we've put together a document to share with everyone with the notes um, and the dosages and the tips and everything. So if you want that, please contact myself so I can get it to you. Okay, so let's talk about the oil blend and yep. what situations we, we use this for our pets. Well, this is actually going to be a lot like your Metapower Assist, as in it's for thyroid issues, overweight dogs, dogs with metabolism issues, but it's not as, like you can use this more freely, shall we say. So whereas that other one is only for your really overweight dogs or the diabetic ones that need help just then and there, you can diffuse it every day if you like. If you think your dog needs that ongoing help and there's not actually a big issue, you can still use it. Now, this one is the one that is safe to diffuse for all species, but you can't use it topically or internally for cats because it has peppermint in it and it has the citrus oils in it. We don't want to use it topically on them in case they lick it and then they ingest it and we don't want to use it internally for them. But you can certainly diffuse it, absolutely diffuse it for them and it will still give them great benefit. So if you've got an overweight cat, you can diffuse this around the house and that's going to help just as well. But for dogs, goats, horses, you can put it in their food. You can dilute it and apply it topically, whatever you want. Horses can actually have up to 10 drops of this a day. 10 drops. That's pretty cool. So if you've got a horse that really needs help, I've heard that there are a few horses out there that have the thy thyroid issues. This is a great, great one to use for your thyroid issue horse but dogs as well put it in the food mix it through like i said with the frankincense and the on guard or diffuse it 
I actually really love it diffused. It's amazing. It helps me too. It gives me my burst of energy and helps me be able to take them for a walk. So that's really good. If your animal is on thyroid medication, so, you know, if your dog needs thyroid meds, I know a lot of horses can, then the thyroid meds have to be given 30 minutes prior to any food or any oils. So if your horse is on thyroid medication, if your dog is on thyroid medication, if you are on thyroid medication, you shouldn't have this 30 minutes until 30 minutes after your thyroid meds. You shouldn't have food until after because you need the thyroid meds have to work on an empty stomach, no oils, no nothing. One thing I'm going to mention, if you have the MetaPower beadlets, the little tiny beadlets like our peppermint beadlets, you cannot give them to dogs and cats. They contain xylitol. So same as the peppermint beadlets, same as the supermint beadlets, any of the beadlets, those little tiny ones, can't be given to cats or dogs because they contain xylitol. So don't use those. That's all I need to say on that. But yeah, all the rest of them, totally fine. Yeah. So all of yeah. these safety reminders are in the handout. Please yeah. um, get back to me if you want that. And I love how you brought that up. You know, not only do our pets need MetaPower, but as pet owners and we're wanting to be as active, oh, yeah. we need it as well, don't we, Lisa? Definitely. Oh, definitely. I like this one in my water and I diffuse in the morning just to get me going. Or actually, I diffuse it a lot in the afternoon for that afternoon slump kind of thing that we tend to have. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'd, just, I'd love to share a testimonial if that's okay from one of your clients, Helene. Yep. Is that okay? So the MetaPower yep. Advantage Collagen that you were just holding up literally changed her dog's life. It was the final piece in the jigsaw that helped her dog with arthritis. So meds weren't helping yes. and they were actually making him worse. So that's a beautiful story to hear. Yep. Yeah. 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 She yeah. had him on meds and all the meds were making him sick a lot and it was just horrible. She did actually have him on the ice blue polyphenols, the turmeric caps and the capiba, and she said they helped a little bit but he was still in pain and once she started giving him the advantage, she said within about two or three weeks the the difference was amazing and even her vet was absolutely amazed that that one thing one product could make such a difference after all the things they tried. So that was like crazy good, <laughs> crazy good. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And just hearing these stories is so reassuring. I have a question here from Faye. What can she put on a very dry, cracked nose on a pug? What doTERRA oils or what would yeah. you say? Well, coconut oil is actually really good for that. I actually make a natural healing salve which is a little bit thicker. It's got a bit of helichrysum, a bit of myrrh, a bit of lavender because they're really good healing oils. But because if you just put them in coconut oil, it's going to be a bit much for the nose. So that's why if you make them into a salve, it's a bit thicker and it's not going to sting as much. And it won't matter if they lick it off. It's totally safe. But you don't want to use Correct X because it has the tea tree in it. So don't use that. But honestly, just coconut oil. Coconut oil is really good for it. So you want to go easy <laughs> brilliant well lisa i think we'll finish it there it's been a yeah. lot of fantastic information <laughs> like i said we've got it in a handout and in fact your handout goes quite deep into the ingredients like resveratrol the nad plus what it does what the nr yeah. does so we won't cover all that tonight but we can certainly yep. give that to people who've been watching you know the importance yeah, of the antioxidants sure. the vitamin c all the special yeah. oh we could have gone on all night if we'd gone into all of that so <laughs> absolutely we could do a three-part series but thank you so much for your time thank you again everyone for watching